Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Jack Arvid Care webinar. If we haven't met yet, my name is Mason. I'm the content marketer here at Jack Arvid and part of our marketing team. Today, we're excited to present how to streamline your day to day processes at your child care center as a part of our commitment to helping you all in the child care industry. On that note, I know today's session is pre recorded this time, but if there's any topic you'd like to see us cover in future webinars, please leave us a comment below and we'll take that into consideration. We want to make sure these are as tailored to your needs as possible and your feedback can help make sure that they are. Now, we usually have a live Q&A. You've joined us before uh, in our webinars, but since we're pre-recorded this time, like I mentioned, if you have any questions along the way, also feel free to drop those in the chat below. And uh, we'll try to answer those as soon as we can for you. But with that, we hope you enjoy the presentation ahead. So for our structure today, I want to take a look at some of the processes child care center owners and staff encounter every day. Some of the pain points we've seen in these processes and then offer some solutions for those pain points. So without further ado, let's get started with registration. Now, I sort of want to address these processes in the order that they would come up for you, starting with the moment someone would first register their child at your child care center and then the following steps. So I think it's appropriate we start here at the beginning with the registration process. Registration, for obvious reasons, may be the most vital process you run at your center. It's what gets your business moving. But for a lot of centers, there can be some major pain points in the process. So let's take a look at some of the common issues we've seen. The first is paperwork. So this one is for the centers out there who are still using pen, paper, and a big old filing cabinet for their registration process. I know this is the classic method for some, but it has some flaws to it. Paperwork can easily lead to mistakes on the side of the parent and on the side of the center. You can run into typos. You can encounter some, let's say, unique handwriting, sort of the doctor's scrawl. It can be inconvenient for parents as well, especially those that are always on the go. And that leads me to the next issue I want to cover, and that is convenience. Aside from adding the extra step to the registration process of bringing the paperwork back to your center, it can simply be a hassle for the parent on the go. Maybe that parent that needs your center the most so they can get back out there and keep providing for their family and making sure that their child's tuition to your center is paid on time. And to our last point, this lack of convenience extends beyond just parents, and it also reaches you and your staff as well. Processing registration takes time, and it presents another opportunity for errors to occur. The next is clutter. To me, this can often be the elephant in the room, especially if you're still using those large filing cabinets. Having all of these papers floating around can make referencing these documents more difficult than it has to be. Even if you keep things in strict alphabetical order, these pieces of paper can get lost in the mix. Or, for example, if someone on your staff needs to reference a certain document and someone else has already pulled that document for a different reason, then they're out of luck until the first person is done with it. So what's our solution? How do you cut out the clutter, the wasted time, and make it as easy as possible for parents to register their child at your child care center? The answer is to go digital. Utilize a child care management software and move your registration process online. By going online, you ditch the clutter, all the unnecessary paperwork, and it can save you valuable time in both receiving registrations from parents and in referencing those same registrations. It adds a whole new layer of convenience to the process for parents as well. They can complete the registration process at almost any point in their day, and the information gets sent straight over to you. No waiting on anyone to fill out the paperwork and then bring it or send it over. It's almost instantaneous. So I want to move on to uh, health and vaccination records. As we all know, staying up to date on children's health records and allergies and vaccinations is paramount to keeping those same children safe and healthy at your center. And it's also required by law. Now, I know every state has its own rules and regulations when it comes to childcare, but similar to our last topic, the ability to reference these documents quickly can streamline the entire process, and in some cases, help ensure a child stays happy and healthy while in your care. We see a lot of the same pain points in health vaccination records. Uh, 
the process is the same as registration. So I won't bore you by running through the same examples, but the one I really wanna hone in on here is the convenience side of things. First, let's take a look at it from the staff perspective. A family has recently discovered their child has an allergy to a certain type of food. Every member who comes into contact with that child at your center needs to know about it to help keep them safe and healthy. Having them run out to double check the files in the main office every day to see if there are any updates can add a lot of time to the process and possibly lead to some mistakes along the way. From the parent side of things, ensuring that your center has the latest hard copy of their children's records can quickly turn into a whole ordeal. Whether they are in a rush to drop their child off because they're late for work and they just forget, or if that child is spending the week at mom's house and the hard copy didn't make it over from dad's, which is where they got their diagnosis. There's a lot that can go wrong in this process, uh, especially when you're trying to keep things as up to date as possible. So if a lot of the issues are the same for the processes you use for health records as a registration, some of you may already have figured out that the solution is also the same. This is another area where making the jump to a childcare management software can just make your life a lot easier. I feel like there's a misconception that childcare management software only does things like schedule planning or registration. And granted, I'm sure there are some that only do those things. But with the right software, you can do more than that and expand into areas like health record keeping and beyond. And even if you're just starting out and software isn't something you feel like you're ready for, I'd pivot and say, I'd recommend you still go digital with this. Uh, utilize uh, like the Google Suite, uh, Google Drive, things like that. So let's move on to drop off and attendance. Uh, our next section is all about getting the day started at drop-off time. Drop-off time can be a hectic start to the day for parents, but also your child care center staff. Depending on your center, there can be vehicle traffic and a congested lobby full of parents trying to make sure their children are checked in on time and get to work on time. This sort of leaves your front desk staff to manage all of this, plus answer the phones and take care of any additional tasks that they're working on. Depending on your center, there can be vehicle traffic and a congested lobby full of parents trying to make sure that their children are checked in on time and also get to work on time. Leaving your front desk staff to manage all of this, plus answer the phones and take care of any additional tasks that they need to finish. And on the topic of keeping track of your students, what about in the classroom? Making sure you're taking regular attendance with pen and paper can be stressful while running a classroom full of kids. So where do we go from there? Is there a better way? Absolutely. You can help keep safety and attendance top of mind by utilizing a check-in kiosk system. With a check-in kiosk, you can make sure your students are picked up and dropped off exclusively by their parents and pre-approved family members with unique PIN codes. All they have to do is enter their codes, drop off their kids, and voila. This takes the responsibility of check-in partially out of your hands and it makes it a snap for parents to do, especially if they're in a hurry. It also makes taking regular attendance easier on staff and can help keep you compliant with your state's child care laws, which do vary. For our last topic, I wanna to tackle parent engagement. We've seen cases of parents of children at child care centers feeling like they aren't kept in the loop enough with what's going on with events, schedules, holidays, you name it. On the flip side of that coin, though, we've also seen child care centers struggle to get the information they need from parents to stay up to date on the children in their care. This can extend to late payments, miscommunications, and it all goes back to some of our previous points, like keeping up to date health records, registration details, and like I just mentioned, communication on payments. The fact of the matter is that we live in a digital world here in 2023. And I'm sure if you're watching this beyond 2023, it's probably still a digital world. And as a result, your best bet to solve these issues for yourself and your staff and parents as well is to reach out to parents on the device I guarantee all of them have on their person at almost every moment of the day, their smartphones. Creating a mobile app for your child care center and sending out push notifications helps ensure that parents are keeping your communications at the top of their mind. 
An app can also allow parents to send updates and information on their children. And for the parents that want to feel a little more involved, you can send out reminders for holidays, events, or even just cute pictures of their children throughout the day. Whatever information you need to be conveyed can be done a lot more easily by matching parents on their level and engaging them in a way that they will have a much harder time missing. Now that is the last topic I have to cover for you today, but before I hand you over to Amanda for a look at how Jackrabbit Care can help you streamline all of these processes, uh, I wanna take a quick look at our key takeaways for each section, starting with registration. Uh, that would be to move your registration process online, utilize a child care management software or a streamlined experience for you, your staff, and the parents. Uh, same with health and vaccination records in a similar vein. Making the digital jump will make just about every aspect of this easier and smoother for you. From referencing the vital information you need on the fly to having parents update the records if anything changes. Utilizing child care management software just makes this easier. Pick up and drop off. Uh, pare down the congestion in your center's lobby with a check-in kiosk. It's also going to make attendance tracking a little bit easier for your staff. Finally, parent engagement. No matter where people are in their day, they almost always have their phones. And utilizing a mobile app for your center helps make sure that they are up to date on their child throughout the day. And it can allow them to not only feel like they are engaging more in their child's care, but also allows you to communicate with them more and keep them in the loop on payment dates, holidays, events, and just get all that vital information in one place. By going digital and utilizing a child care management software, you are set up to streamline so many of your day-to-day -day processes and start making stronger decisions for the good of your child care center. It can be a scary jump for some, but in the end, it really does benefit almost everyone involved. Now, some of you may have the thought, if I go digital and manage these things on my own, why would I need a child care software? And that's a valid question. And I wanna say the main reason you go from storing information just digitally to utilizing a full-blown software is the communication and accessibility that only a child care management software can provide. If you begin to store your information online in something like Google Sheets or Google Docs, yes, you have a little bit easier access to it, but in turn, you're still creating more processes for yourself. Where are these files located? Who has access? Did you save that document to the right folder? A childcare software takes all of that information and stores it in one easily accessible place and keeps it organized for you. The right software can even use the data you already have to better plan for the future as well. So if it is within your means to utilize a software, I think that's the best way to go in my opinion. Now with that said, I'd like to pass you over to our product manager for Jackrabbit Care, Amanda. Uh, for a quick demonstration on just how well Jackrabbit Care can address the issues we've talked about today and help simplify your day every step of the way. A little bit about Amanda. She began developing apps early on in her career and pivoted to product management six years ago. She loves interacting with clients and loves building products with technology that disrupts industries. So she knows what she's talking about. So take it away, Amanda. for the awesome introduction. I'm thrilled to be able to show you today our online registration demonstration on how we set up for a more easy, friendly, less clutter, and less paperwork to collect for your ongoing enrollments. So let's go take a look at what it looks like in Jackrabbit Care. First, we're gonna go over to this enrollment button. This is where you're going to manage everything around your enrollment, your enrollments, your openings, your online registration settings, anything that you wanna collect in order for those to register and then subsequently be enrolled in your center is gonna be managed here. We also have the ability to handy uh, dandy manage your wait list. So no more paper, uh, paper sticky notes on your computer or a long list in Excel that doesn't translate over to your child care management software. It's all right here at the click of a button. I'm first going to see all of the uh, registrations I have available. You'll notice I have two, one for the jumping giraffe program, which is an older toddler program and one for my preschool program. I'm accepting new and returning families to be able to register. And when I open up these details, I can see everything that I'm requiring of them. In order to register with my center, uh, they need to provide the child care child giver information who's taking care of this child when they're not at my center 
the child information, and then I need to then accept some policies. Once they're enrolled, I further then require some additional files and documents and policies. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link over and allow your, your website, uh, can be sent via text message. Um, you can also see here that I this took me directly to my morning preschool program, and I, I'm closing this date as of next year to get ready for the new school year. I'm going to attend the West End program today. Uh, you'll notice that each location has its own site, so if you run multiple locations, you can easily set this up to collect who is interested in what uh, location of yours. Let's go ahead and start. I'm going to go ahead and get the first earliest start date. Um, let's say I don't want to start until the uh, next year. I can also specify that in case my child's not ready to join just yet. Um, this will all come over when I submit to the center so you can review it. I'm going to go ahead and click continue, and then I'm going to specify what schedule I prefer. Um, I am interested in a Monday, Wednesday, Friday program, but if I wanted to select full time, that would be great too. You'll notice that we've already configured that Sundays and Saturdays I'm not open. If I click continue, I'm there, then taken to a customizable form uh, that allows you to collect that registration information. So in this case, I have my dog outside, Scarlet um, Joe, uh, and we call her Scar Scar. You'll notice we're part of the Black Lab Baby and Kid Care in this instance. I do require email addresses, um, so I'm going to go ahead and put a fake email in here. And because my uh, address is optional at this time, I can go ahead and skip that. If I go ahead and move my screen and go next step, I'll then be able to fill out my information. So let's say it's Jolly Joe. Um, I am non-binary. I have a uh, birth date of three years ago for my preschool program. Um, I can also put in the relationship, so I'm a parent, um, and I can change this and later add on any additional child information as needed. The next step is the policy information that I custom configured so that I don't have to go out and get handwritten copies and print them and waste a bunch of paper that's probably just going to go in a file. I can print this later on, but for now, the parent can come in here, read my payment policies. They need to agree to this up front because childcare is very expensive at this specific center. I want to make sure that they agree to these before they ever get enrolled into my class. I'll go ahead and click um, I've understood and read. I can also configure uh, the type of uh, if they've read it or they disagree with something, such as a you offer a service that maybe a parent doesn't want to take advantage of. Um, I can also put those options here. And when I click submit, I'll then receive an email that I have been, um, uh, the registration has been received by the center and I'm now able to review that. So what does that look like for you? Now that I've gone through the paperless route and there's not as much clutter sitting on my desk or I don't have to chase down or I don't lose one, I can quickly come in here, I'll receive an email, but I can also go over to this enrollment section and we're gonna click on view pending registrations. And Miss Jolly Joe is in there with Scar Scar, who has just um, submitted their information for the morning school program. They submitted it today. I can also see everything that they've done. They submitted around 4 o'clock today um, at an, an 11 6. You'll notice that preferred schedule came through and even that preferred start date. If I needed to, you'll notice um, I can add them to the wait list, which will change their online registration status. Um, I can also uh, approve them, which will make them an approved returning family meaning I've already reviewed this family. This family's been um, coming back year after year for a different program. Um, so if they were to go in and submit this through our mobile app, they would have that information as well. You'll also notice that they agreed to our tuition and payment policy plan. Um, and I can go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add to wait list. You'll notice all I had to do was click a button and now we're on the wait list for the preschool program. Now, if that uh, child is coming off the wait list, um, you can see I see all the wait list at the, at, for my programs in here. I just added uh, JoJo to um, the morning preschool. So let's go ahead and view that preschool play, uh, uh, wait list. And I can see that they've been waiting since the 11th or the, the 6th of November. I can go ahead and enroll this child. I can find um, the best opening for this child without ever having to move paperwork or organize it. Um, I know I love having paper to doodle or write on, and this kind of allows it to all stay digitally into your child care management system. You'll notice this little pop-up is gonna show you everything around how do you create and find an opening for this child. Uh, because we're just in a demo, you'll notice I only have one kind of schedule in here. I can go ahead and enroll this child in here um, and uh, move that start date out to the at specific date, and that child is now enrolled. I can choose to add a billing plan or a tuition fee onto this, and it would automatically bill for that child each month. I'm going to say no for now, um, and we will come back and show you that in a little bit. 
Next, let's quickly look at how we manage compliance and stay up to date with all of our medical tracking in Jackrabbit Care. The first thing we do is can go over to our medical and compliance section. This is where we manage all of our allergies across the business so that you have a, the same allergen and can report across it to either give to your cook or to a teacher. In addition, you can also manage file types that are managed, such as an immunization record, a medical allergy plan, or even a health appraisal form that your state requires you to collect. Teachers have the ability to actually see who has the allergies in the class. But for our sake, let's go ahead and add an allergy to Stella. You can also search at any point in Jackrabbit Care at the top. So if an issue arises, no worries, it is within one click of to be able to find that information. Let's go ahead and pop into Stella. You'll notice that we checked her in and out earlier, and you'll also notice the allergy badge. The allergy badge indicates what allergies, if any, are exist on the child. Let's go ahead and open up the peanut allergy. The peanut allergy is fairly low, and you can see that we document the reactions and maybe some symptoms to look out for, as well as a treatment plan and if we need to contact anyone upon um, exposure to the allergen. Uh, Stella Strong is also in my classroom, so when I open up class mode, I can also see that she has the allergy badge so that I know to be on high alert. From this mode, I can also click back into her, her plan and also well and see any documents that are uploaded alongside that. Uh, with Jackrabbit Care, it's as easy uh, as uploading all of them and being able to view it at a click of a button. Let's take a look a little bit at our Jackrabbit Care parent app. From the top right, you can view your pin, be able to set your pin if that one exists. You can also see all the recent activities of who was checked in. You'll be able to see photos and videos that were sent by the teachers all through the class mode feature that we showed earlier. You'll also be able to receive messages such as any urgents like closures or updates to the policies. There's also two-way messaging so parents can easily message you or send you notifications that they're out. Billing is a hot topic and they can pay and manage their bill. And they can also view and manage all of their profile information, all the way from calling the center directly, checking in on your status of allergies, making sure they're up to date, and making, up, making sure their phone number is up to date as well. You'll notice uh, Stella's allergies are in here, so as a parent, I can make sure that they know everybody is up to date in the center. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for that demonstration, Amanda. We really appreciate it. So if you want to learn more about how Jackrabbit Care can help you in your child care center, scan the QR code on the screen with your mobile device now, or visit us on our website via the links in our bio. I want to thank you all for taking some time out of your busy schedules to spend with us, and I hope you walked away with some helpful information. Until next time, goodbye, everybody.